even put one up in the cloud, worked with us to put it up in the cloud. And it's basically, you know, a super smart storage system. And in the future, you're going to have something like that in every single enterprise. That is the enterprise storage of the future. And we're working with the entire storage industry, really fantastic partners, uh, DDN and Dell and HP Enterprise and Hitachi and IBM and NetApp and Nutanix and Pure Storage and Vast and Weka. Basically, the entire world storage industry will be offering this, this stack. For the very first time, your storage system will be GPU accelerated. And so somebody thought I, was, I didn't have enough slides. And so Michael thought I didn't have enough slides. So he, he said, Jensen, just in case you don't have enough slides, can I just put this in there? And so this is Michael's slides. But, but this is, this he sent this to me. He goes, just in case you don't have any slides. And I, I got too many slides. But this is such a great slide. And, and let me tell you why. In one single slide, he's explaining that Dell is going to be offering a whole line of NVIDIA enterprise IT AI infrastructure systems and, and all the software that runs on top of it. Okay, so you can see that we're in the process of revolutionizing the world's enterprise. We're also announcing today this incredible model that everybody can run. And so I showed you earlier R1, a reasoning model. I showed you versus Llama 3, a non-reasoning model. And obviously R1 is much smarter. Um, but we can do it even better than that. And we can make it possible to be enterprise ready for any company. And it's now completely open source. It's part of our system we call NIMS. And you can download it. You can run it anywhere. You can run it on DGX Spark. You can run it on DGX Station. You can run it on any of the servers that the, the OEMs make. You can run it in the cloud. You can integrate it into any of your agentic AI frameworks. And we're working with companies all over the world, and I'm going to flip through these, so watch very carefully. I've got some great partners in the audience who want to recognize Accenture, Julie Sweet and her team are building their AI factory and their AI framework. Uh, Amdocs, the world's largest uh, telecommunication software company, uh, AT&T, John Stanky and his team uh, building an AT&T AI system, agentic system, Larry Fink and uh, BlackRock team building theirs, uh, Annie Rood. Uh, in the future, not only will we hire ASIC designers, we're going to hire a whole bunch of digital ASIC designers from Anirudh Cadence that will help us design our chips. And so Cadence is building their uh, AI framework. And as you can see, in every single one of them, there's an NVIDIA models, NVIDIA NIMS, and NVIDIA libraries integrated throughout so that you can run it on-prem, in the cloud, any cloud. Uh, Capital One, uh, one of the most advanced financial services companies and using technology has NVIDIA all over it. Uh, Deloitte, uh, Jason and his team, uh, ENY, Janet and his team, NASDAQ and Adina and her team uh, integrating NVIDIA technology into their AI frameworks. And then Christian and his team at SAP, uh, Bill McDermott and his team at ServiceNow. That was pretty good, huh? First, this is one of those keynotes where the first slide took 30 minutes, and then all the other slides took 30 minutes. All right, so, so next, let's go somewhere else. Let's go talk about robotics, shall we? Let's talk about robots. Well, the time has come, the time have, has come for robots. Uh, robots have the benefit, the benefit of being able to interact with the physical world and do things that otherwise digital information cannot. Uh, we know very clearly that the world is, has severe shortage of, of human laborers, human workers. By the end of this decade, the world is going to be at least 50 million workers short. We'd be more than delighted to pay them each $50,000 to come to work. We're probably going to have to pay robots $50,000 a year to come to work. And so this is going to be a very, very large industry. There are all kinds of robotic systems. Your infrastructure will be robotic. Billions of cameras and warehouses and factories, 10, 20 million factories around the world. Every car is already a robot, as I mentioned earlier, and then now we're building general robots. Let me show you how we're doing that. Everything that moves will be autonomous. Physical AI will embody robots of every kind in every industry. 
three computers built by NVIDIA enable a continuous loop of robot AI simulation, training, testing, and real-world experience. Training robots requires huge volumes of data. Internet-scale data provides common sense and reasoning, but robots need action and control data, which is expensive to capture. With blueprints built on NVIDIA Omniverse and Cosmos, developers can generate massive amounts of diverse synthetic data for training robot policies. First, in Omniverse, developers aggregate real-world sensor or demonstration data according to their different domains, robots, and tasks. Then use Omniverse to condition Cosmos, multiplying the original captures into large volumes of photoreal, diverse data. Developers use Isaac Lab to post-train the robot policies with the augmented dataset and let the robots learn new skills by cloning behaviors through imitation learning or through trial and error with reinforcement learning AI feedback. Practicing in a lab is different than the real world. New policies need to be field tested. Developers use Omniverse for software and hardware in the loop testing, simulating the policies in a digital twin with real-world environmental dynamics, with domain randomization, physics feedback, and high-fidelity sensor simulation. Real-world operations require multiple robots to work together. Mega, an Omniverse blueprint, lets developers test fleets of post-trained policies at scale. Here, Foxconn tests heterogeneous robots in a virtual NVIDIA Blackwell production facility. As the robot brains execute their missions, they perceive the results of their actions through sensor simulation, then plan their next action. Mega lets developers test many robot policies, enabling the robots to work as a system, whether for spatial reasoning, navigation, mobility, or dexterity. Amazing things are born in simulation. Today, we're introducing NVIDIA Isaac Groot N1. Groot N1 is a generalist foundation model for humanoid robots. It's built on the foundations of synthetic data generation and learning in simulation. Groot N1 features a dual system architecture for thinking fast and slow, inspired by principles of human cognitive processing. The slow thinking system lets the robot perceive and reason about its environment and instructions and plan the right actions to take. The fast thinking system translates the plan into precise and continuous robot actions. Groot N1's generalization lets robots manipulate common objects with ease and execute multi-step sequences collaboratively. And with this entire pipeline of synthetic data generation and robot learning, humanoid robot developers can post-train Groot N1 across multiple embodiments and tasks across many environments. Around the world, in every industry, developers are using NVIDIA's three computers to build the next generation of embodied AI. Physical AI and robotics are moving so fast. Everybody pay attention to this space. This could very well likely be the largest industry of all. At its core, we have the same challenges. As I mentioned before, there are three that we focus on. They are rather systematic. One, how do you solve the data problem? How, where do you create the data necessary to train the AI. Two, what's the model architecture? And then three, what's the scaling loss? How can we scale either the data, the compute, or both, so that we can make AIs smarter and smarter and smarter? How do we scale? And those two, those fundamental problems exist in robotics as well. In robotics, 
we created a system called Omniverse. It's our operating system for physical AIs. You've heard me talk about Omniverse for a long time. We added two technologies to it. Today I'm going to show you two things. One of them is so that we could scale AI with generative capabilities. A generative model that understands the physical world. We call it Cosmos. Using Omniverse to condition Cosmos and using Cosmos to generate an infinite number of environments allows us to create data that is grounded, grounded, controlled by us, and yet be systematically infinite at the same time. Okay, so you see Omniverse, we use candy colors to give you an example of us controlling the robot in the scenario perfectly, and yet Oz Cosmos can create all these virtual environments. The second thing, just as we were talking about earlier, one of the incredible scaling capabilities of language models today is reinforcement learning, verifiable rewards. The question is, what's the verifiable rewards in robotics? And as we know very well, it's the laws of physics. Verifiable physics rewards. And so we need an incredible physics engine. Well, most physics engines have been designed for a variety of reasons. It could be designed because we want to use it for large machineries, or uh, maybe we design it for uh, virtual worlds, video games, and such. But we need a physics engine that is designed for very fine grain, rigid and soft bodies, designed for being able to train tactile feedback and fine motor skills and actuator controls. We need it to be GPU accelerated so that we, these virtual worlds could live in super linear time, super real time, and train these AI models incredibly fast. And we need it to be integrated harmoniously into a framework that is used by roboticists all over the world, Mujoko. And so today we're announcing something really, really special. It is a partnership of three companies. DeepMind, Disney Research, and NVIDIA, and we call it Newton. Let's, let's take a look at Newton. Thank you. All right, let's start that over, shall we? Let's not ruin it for them. Hang on a second. Somebody talk to me. I need feedback. What happened? Who, I just need a human to talk to. <laughs> Come on, that's a good joke. Give me a human to talk to. Janine, I know it's not your fault, but talk to me. We, got, we just got a two minutes left. They're re-racking it? I don't even know what that means. Okay. Tell me that wasn't amazing. Hey, Blue. How are you doing? How do you like, how do you like your new physics engine? You like it, huh? Yeah, I bet. I know. Tactile feedback, rigid body, soft body simulation, super real time. Can you imagine just now what you were looking at is com complete real time simulation? 
this is how we're going to train robots in the future. Uh, just so you know, Blue has uh, two computers, two NVIDIA computers inside. Look how smart you are. Yes, you're smart. Okay. All right. Hey, Blue, listen. How about let's take them home? Let's finish this keynote. It's lunchtime. Are you ready? Let's finish it up. We have another announcement. To <laughs> you're good. You're good. Just stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. All right, good. Right there. That's good. All right, Stan. Okay. We have another amazing news. I told you the progress of our robotics has been making enormous progress. And today we're announcing that Groot N1 is open sourced. I want to thank all of you to come to, to get, Let's wrap up. I want to thank all of you for coming to GTC. We talked about several things. One, Blackwell is in full production. And the ramp is incredible. Customer demand is incredible. And for good reason. Because there is an inflection point in AI. The amount of computation we have to do in AI is so much greater as a result of reasoning AI and the training of reasoning AI systems and agent, agentic systems. Second, Blackwell NVLink 72 with Dynamo is 40 times the performance, AI factory performance of Hopper. And inference is going to be one of the most important workloads in the next decade as we scale out AI. Third, we have an annual, annual rhythm of roadmaps that has been laid out for you so that you could plan your AI infrastructure. And then we have Two, we have three AI infrastructures we're building. AI infrastructure for the cloud, AI infrastructure for enterprise, and AI infrastructure for robots. <laughs> we have one more treat for you. Play it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all the partners that made this video possible. Thank you, everybody, that made this video possible. Have a great GTC. Thank you. Hey, Blue. Let's go home. Good job. Good little man. Thank you. I love you, too. Thank you.